really put a damper on the communities. Uh, I think it's like 1,500, 12 to 1,500 laid off guys up on the Iron Range, and, and that affects everything from your your, uh, your stores, your grocery stores, your hardware stores. Uh, nobody's adding onto their house. Nobody's buying a car. Um, I mean, it even affects. Uh, Right now, a lot of us are losing insurance at the end of February, our unemployment benefits and that. Uh, Kiwant Taconite uh, lost their unemployment benefits, I believe it was in November. And it, it's even showing in the healthcare sector. Um, you, you notice that they're, not everybody's coming in for the bumps and scrapes and bruises and stuff like that. There's less preventative healthcare being done from what I can see. And uh, I mean, it's a, to that point already that it's affecting. It's not just the miners, it's the entire community. Uh, my neighbor, uh, he's a steel worker, he's laid off. Um, his job is he provides a service to the mines for rubber line piping. A uh, guy down the road, he's a contractor, his truck is uh, usually there because nobody's adding on to their house or doing it uh, residentially. And a little bit further down the road, you start getting some laid off, or not laid off, but uh, retired miners. And they don't know what's going to happen with their pension if one of the mines folds up. And uh, my dad, my wife's dad, they're both uh, retired um, miners from Hibbing Taconite. My dad's a welder. My wife's dad was a shovel operator. And uh, my wife's brother, he works at Hibbing Taconite. And uh, it's generations of mining. And it's, hopefully we're not the last generation.